So, we're going to talk about the Kiss Quotient, I guess, because I didn't have anything else ready. Well, I have a couple things ready, but I don't feel like talking about them just now. I'm going to mention um, a quote from <clears throat> The Pretender, that I meant to mention in the last talk we had, and um, it, it was, uh, family is a tyranny ruled over by its weakest member, and apparently it was a Shaw quote. Do you know that one? That quote? Yeah. I've never heard it before. So that's in there, is that? It was in The Pretender. I oh, it was the Pretender show? Yep, the show that we were watching. Tyr a family is a tyranny ruled over by its weakest member? Yep, weakest member. I don't know. Uh, it's catchy, but I don't know if it's true. Uh, it's... I'll put it this way. If a family is ruled, it would be ruled over its weakest teammate. But that's a different scene, you know what I'm you saying? You mean physically weakest? No, no. What weakest teammate. In other words, the one that's the worst teammate. I've seen all sorts of... I mean, mm. yeah, you, you've seen that. With the, yes. we'll talk about the... Oh, is it okay if we talk people. about the city of Lethbridge? No. What was that? Yeah, they're... Well, I will be talking about the... How... Um, municipal governments especially but it's it's um it's funny how um the people who are who advance within the hierarchy of the system and it's it's a high it's um it's a hierarchy there's no getting around it it's not uh the system should your civil servants it should be um democratic it should be equal right but it's not it's not at all and you get into it if you're a person who cares about society and cares about um working for the people you think okay well i'm going to be a civil servant i'm going to work for the public and um do my best and this is going to be the place for me yeah. well it's just, you end up it's working for some stupid way. bozo who doesn't care except about their own wages and Sadly, a lot of them just care about their power, you know, mm -hmm. um, pushing people around, stuff like that. So we won't necessarily talk about the city of Lethbridge. No, but just well, in we'll general. talk about uh, in general, and who knows, maybe it's improved. No, it's. Yeah, I mean, I was so. talking to somebody yesterday with. Um, he, he was. Um, this is uh, carrots. Here. Yeah, that's carrot juice. Uh, anyway, he said he was talking about Trump. And how um, it how like he's really following the politics, the the media, and he's he doesn't understand like I don't follow the news, and he he's he thinks that I that, don't you know, care. Don't how know. am I not following the news? You know, it's how do I find out about what's going on and whatever? And it's like no, like most of the news is um, basically it's like the like the Wizard of Oz, you know, you have you you're Dorothy and you and and crew, and you wander up into the. You went on this big journey. You're trying to meet the Wizard of Oz because he's going to solve all your problems. He's great, powerful, you know. And uh, you walk up there, and I am the great and powerful Oz. And then behind the curtain is little man who's not powerful. He's just you know a regular old guy and. And uh, really what it is, is when you're watching the news, or mother media at all, right, um, you're seeing the great and powerful Oz. And that's what you're supposed to see. That's what you're told to see. So if, you're, if that's where you're getting your news, you're not actually seeing what's happening. So I see much more by learning about a whole bunch of things. Maybe not the Kiss Quotient, but you know what? Um, I read this because James wants to write um, romance sort of stuff. And um, I don't know anything about the genre. I have never 
been into reading romance stuff. And frankly, this was tough for me to get through for the first while because I'm just like, oh, this is not believable. And uh, anyway, so this is like some any, but oh, I should mention that the because I did want to talk about the kiss quotient, I had intended to, and then we got talking about the media and stuff. But um, this is written by a woman with autism, which is really interesting. It makes it very different. Um, just to get somebody else's perspective on things. And um, I, she's she has Asperger's, if I recall correctly. It's been a while since I read that. Uh, you can look it up. Um, and um, it's it's not believable. She has she hires an escort because she's not uh, she doesn't um, hasn't related well with people, so she hasn't even had any sort of ro kiss, romance, anything, right? And so um, and she's already her pa parents are getting on about she should be marrying and stuff and she has she's um, been successful in her career um, but she has no she she can't communicate well with people so anyway she hires an escort to teach her how to have a, a normal romantic relationship and so he's supposed to play her boyfriend and teach her and while well, they fall in love so anyway and I, I she pays him an incredible amount of money which I don't think anyway um, but I did enjoy um, getting through the story actually once I got about halfway through then I started going oh well this is a different take on things you know and I, um, it ends up he's not a typical sort of escort you know everybody has their different motivations for getting into different things and whatever um, but yeah I'd actually recommend the kiss quotient if I how I chose this is I went through the internet and I looked at which romance novels were getting high ratings so I selected a few from the local public library system and uh, went from there and um, I this is just a, a story there's some um, kind of heavy ro romantic scenes that are um, a bit graphic yeah, I've just got to hit the washer yeah but honestly it's um, it's just like it's the kind of thing I, I imagine teenage girls would read or maybe lonely women who I don't know would like to ha be in a relationship but maybe are focused on their career or school or whatever um, but and it does the trick I mean there's your your fake boyfriend for a while that's not going to it's not gonna cause you heartbreak and it's it's gonna keep you on your track um, of employment or education or whatever without getting distracted by heartbreak and such things. I think it's a good idea. No, we're just eating the same stuff as yesterday. So, anyway, so I was talking to him. Um, somebody yesterday and he was talking about the Trump and all that's going on there and how it looks like they're going to impeach him and I said to him well that's been going on for a long time that's not really news <laughs> anyway and he's like no it looks like it seriously and Anyway, so he's talking about how um, Trump doesn't even need to 
collect a collect money from them for doing the job as president. Anyway, it's sometimes money um, means power for some people. Some you know it can um, you can use money to buy all sorts of things. Um, but sometimes you can get power without um, making money from one group. You can, I mean, if you're in a position of power, you get it just by being in that position, right? And um, the money doesn't necessarily have to be coming from the people that you're holding the position power over. I mean, you could be making money from other people and gaining that kind of power from a different group. Or that group could have power over you. I mean, the sub submission and dominance game is really interesting. sort of thing James might want to talk about. And I'm going to eat my food.